Hi, I'm Marilee Roseman, and this is In Brief, a summary of the council meeting that was held on Monday, February 22nd. And with me is our city administrator, Jeff Mueller. Marilee, fill us hello. In. Briefly. Yes, it was a relatively brief meeting. Actually, uh, before I get to the action items, we had a representative here from the Census Bureau. Uh, this is the big year, the census. Uh, every 10 years, uh, whether you need it or not, they're going to count you and uh, we do need it actually so uh, it's very important that uh, everyone here in Lather be counted look on your couch look everywhere find every person and body you've got <laughs> we need to count them because it'll help channel more funds here to uh, Lather Village uh, they're going to be mailing actually it's only I believe they said a 10 question census this year Really? mailing it out mid-March they need it back by April 1st Just fill out the 10 questions they don't use it they don't give it to anybody so has no to be to the president uh, if you don't fill it out fill and they don't get it back they'll, they'll come, come they'll come, they'll come and you. visit you yep and but anyway it's very important that everybody be counted and they were here kind of uh, giving us a little update on that mid-march thereabouts mid 15th or so it'll be mailed out they asked for it back by April 1st and uh, don't forget to fill it out so you can be counted so uh, regarding the action items we had a, a number of things we had the American Cancer Society was here talking about their relay for life which will be held uh, May 10th and 11th. And that is in reference to what, the Relay for Life? It's uh, to raise awareness of uh, cancer, all types of cancer, not uh, one type or another, but all types. Uh, they have, uh, it's an overnight, all, it's a 24-hour event, it's a Saturday, Sunday, I believe, May 10th and 11th. Uh, and it will be held in Southfield. I can't remember exactly the location. It's one of the parks. And uh, I guess it's pretty moving. Uh, they have a ceremony where they have all the, uh, what do they call them, the, little, the bags with the lights in them? Luminaries. Luminaries, thank you very much. Uh, out, and uh, they say it's just, and they you pay tribute to people who have lost their lives to cancer, and also uh, people that might be going through it now. And it's just a real, it's a fundraising event, obviously, for them, and, uh, and, and really a, an event to bring awareness to cancer. And Is there a place to register for that? Yes, uh, if you contact the American Cancer Society, they're in Southfield. I don't have a phone number with me, but you need a link. Uh, yes, uh, yep. If you check out their website, uh, it'll get you to it. Uh, um, it is the 10th and the 11th of May, and uh, we had, a re like I said, a representative here, and uh, just encourage everybody to, if they can, to participate in some regard. Uh, the, s the second item we had was a, uh, a five-year contract uh, with our auditors, Plant and Moran. Uh, one of the topics that came up with the Blue Ribbon Committee as they looked at our city finances was to go back and look at all of our service contracts. One of those is our auditor. Uh, we also looked at our engineering and all the other uh, items of that nature. And uh, I went and met with uh, representatives from our auditing uh, team and firm and uh, asked if they could do anything. We have the pretty large falling taxable values now. As you know, I'm sure you've got your assessment yeah, notice. And correspondingly, what's going to happen with that, uh, everyone is truly going to see a dramatic uh, decrease in their taxes, too. Great it's for the homeowner. The mm -hmm. Exactly. Great for our property owners, but hard for us to try and, uh, you know, provide basic services for the community or the services at the level which people have uh, come accustomed to and, are, and come to expect. So when, anyway, that aside, the, I went back to them, and uh, they were able to give us uh, they said if we agree to a five-year agreement, uh, we'll be able to save you $20,000 over what it would have cost. So we also have an out. Uh, I think that was kind of the, the, one of the keys if, uh, you know, somehow things get so bad that uh, we can get out of the contract. And uh, we actually have decreases the first couple years of the contract from what we're paying now. So uh, to me, it was really a win-win. It was a great contract. Uh, they were wonderful auditors, are very thorough. They offer a lot of assistance to the treasurer and myself as we're working through uh, financial questions and concerns through the year. So, and they don't charge us for any of that. So, contrary um, to belief, big business does work well with the city. Yes, actually, <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, business does work well with us. We want to be business friendly too. But uh, anyway, but we're, we're I'm a very appreciative of the fact that they did come to the table and cut their rates considerably. Uh, the next item that we dealt with was uh, hardship guidelines for the board of review. Uh, the Board of Review meets in March of every year, and every year we need to update what those hardship guidelines are. If someone's going to come in and plead, I can't pay my taxes because of a hardship. There's certain guidelines. If you have a family of four or ten or three or whatever, there's a dollar amount that goes with those, and it's all based on the federal government and some guidelines that they uh, come out with. 
and each year our council updates our guidelines to match those. So that's what happened last night. We matched that. And to get that information, they can call our city or treasurer uh, and Pam Bracci, uh, city hall number extension 227, and should be able to help them out. Uh, the next item we had was our uh, police department was requesting the purchase of a motorcycle. We've had a lease motorcycle for quite a few years and the cost has continued to escalate and escalate. That was another one of the items the Blue Ribbon Committee said, hey, let's take a look at that. Is there so something we can do better? The police department came back and said we could spend drug forfeiture money, it doesn't come out of the city coffers uh, or the general fund to pay for it. And uh, the cost was, uh, I think, $14,900. We had been spending $3,000 a year on a lease. So, you know, five years, they were at $15,000 and you have nothing. This bike, you know, they estimate it'll last between 10 to 15 years. We spend the 14,009, you know, one time out of drug forfeiture, so it doesn't come out of the city general fund, and uh, it will be a great tool for the police department to use. We had a, a number of the chief as well as another officer here make a presentation last night, and that was approved. Very good. Yeah, I believe uh, that'll be a great tool for them. And then the uh, the real last item that we dealt with was the uh, the per uh, the uh, not purchase but the adoption of resolution number two, and that has to do with special assessments. Mm -hmm. Starting in December, we could start compiling a list. People that haven't paid their water bills aren't up to date. Nuisance cuts, things of that nature. We have to go out and cut grass, some abandoned properties and things. Um, we bill people and or banks. And if they're not paid, we start building the files and eventually work towards putting it on the tax roll in April. Uh, this was a public hearing actually started in our January meeting, continued over to February, and uh, they closed the public hearing last night, had an updated list, and moved the process forward by passing, passing the resolution. And uh, that was passed. And that was it. And that was in brief. <laughs> that was in brief. Thank you very much, Jeff. Look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you.